far, far away at Bolton Eye Hospital, some magical IT fairies implemented Open Eye's EPR for cataract care within the Bolton Foundation Trust. This was part of the transition to electronic health records. Peter, a little old man, has been sent to Bolton Hospital by his doctor, as he has cataracts, which makes it really hard for him to see. My name's Peter. Nurse Megan performed automated biometry on Peter to see what lens would be needed for his eyes. She recorded her findings in open eyes. Peter Jennings! This way is Peter. Can you come with me, Peter? And have a seat there. Place your chin on the rest, Peter. And try to look at the light in front of you and hold still. Well done, you can sit back now. And if you follow me, Peter, we'll go into a different room. I understand you are having difficulty seeing, is that right? Yes, I can't see the TV well as much anymore. How long has your eyesight been like this? Probably six months or maybe a year. Nurse Megan asked Peter lots of questions about his health and put his answers in open eyes. Can you come with me again, Peter? I'm taking you to see Dr Daniel. Hello, is it Peter Jennings? My name is Dr Daniel. Yes, hello, Dr Daniel. Will you lean forward a little bit, Peter? I need to examine your eyes on the microscope. Dr Daniel looked at Peter's eyes again to see if the operation was suitable. He talked to Peter about the operation. Thank you, you can sit back now. Peter? If you'd like to sign here, that means you're happy to go along with the operation to fix your, fix your cataract. Peter wrote his name on some forms so that he could have the surgery to fix his cataracts. When Peter went back to the hospital to have the surgery, Dr Dan made a mark on his forehead. Hello again, Peter. Can I check which eye we're operating on today? Yes. My left eye. Good. So everyone else knows, can I put a small pen mark above your left eye? Yes. Okay. Dr Dan used Open Eyes EPR to choose the correct lens for Peter's eye. To see how complicated the operation would be, Dr Dan used the posterior capsule rupture risk calculator. OK, Peter, I'm just going to check your details. P name, Peter Jennings. Date of birth, 10th of August, 1940. Number, 0013579. Peter Jennings. He's consented for left cataract surgery under local anaesthetic. I signed it today. The patient signed it as well. Before the operation started, Dr Dan checked that the right lens had been chosen. Peter Jennings, left eye. Left eye's been marked. He's having cataract surgery with a 19 diopter lens for minus 0.24. No allergies, no alpha blockers and no anticoagulants. The whiteboard view of open eyes is really clear so the checks can be made really easily. OK, the operation's all done. It's well done, Peter. It's gone very well. I'm going to just stick a shield on your eye now. Dr Dan performed the operation on Peter's eye. Peter was taken to a nice chair afterwards to have some tea and toast. Dr Dan put all the information and wrote all his notes about the operation into Open Eyes. He also used Open Eyes to tell Nurse Meg what eye drops Peter would need after the surgery. Before Peter could go home, Nurse Meg gave Peter some eye drops and used open eyes to write a letter to Peter's doctor electronically. 
She also created a letter for Peter to take to his local optometrist a few weeks later to check how his eye was after the surgery. Here is your eye drops, a leaflet and letter. The letter is to bring to your opticians in three weeks. Is that okay? Thank you very much, Nurse Megan. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. When Peter went to see his optometrist three weeks later, she checked Peter's eyes and put the information into Opto Manager. Opto Manager is integrated with Open Eyes, so Dr. Dan can see how Peter's eyes are doing after the operation. The results from the community optometrist are used by Dr. Dan on a nice graphical dashboard. The results are also sent to the National Ophthalmic Database for Bolton Eye Unit and Peter's eyes were all better.